All right, so uh, let me go back to Rick Santorum a little bit because I'm going to show you two quotes from uh, Rick Santorum and see if you could detect a little hypocrisy. The first is what he said about Obama. He said he thinks he knows better. He thinks he's smarter than you. He thinks he's someone who is a privileged person who should be able to rule over you. Here's Rick Santorum on contraception. Contraception. Contraception is not okay. It's a license to do things in a sexual realm that is counter to how things are supposed to be. Sex is supposed to be within marriage. Isn't there a little bit of hypocrisy here saying Obama wants to rule over you, but I am telling you what kind of fucking is okay? Well, in fairness, there's a little bit of a distinction. In, in one case... In one case, Santorum is saying that he's more righteous than you, not that he's smarter than you, which is, of course, a quite different thing. And I think that, um, you know, when you look at the former thing, that's actually a potentially very compelling message. But you're right that it's muddied by the latter part of it. And I think that what Republicans need to find is someone who can say, wait a second, we trust people. You know, people are going to disagree on all kinds of issues, but we trust people and we don't believe that government officials are able to, you know, kind of figure out exactly how the economy should work, this or that. But you're right that that's a big contradiction. And Santorum is saying that this campaign is about freedom. And he undercuts himself. Well, that, like well, how, how is it, wait a minute, minute. how is it about freedom if you're telling people what to do with their private lives, if you're telling people how to conduct their sexuality, you're telling people when they should have contraception? What kind of freedom? The, the whole platform that Santorum and Romney and them are doing is they say we don't want big government when it comes to protecting working class people, but we want to run your I bedroom, absolutely think there's a run how there. you do your life, there's run absolutely whether you have to... I mean, that is big government. Let me ask you... This guy's... This guy's... I think the Santorum... I'm, I'm just, the fact that you say that he think he might win the nomination completely terrifies me. I mean, how many decades back, how many centuries back does he want to take us? Well, and his, I looked into, I read a little bit of his book this week, which is terrifying. Logical, but terrifying. <laughs> And there was a review of it. I think it was the Philadelphia Inquirer when it first came out, and it said that Santorum would be a fine mind for the 13th century. And it's kind of right. I mean, it's, it's, it's logical, it's natural, it's the kind of Catholic absolutist view of the world of several centuries ago. And, well, and I, I, I think we're 